Okay, so let's take a look at some of these depreciation problems here, okay? When you read a, an accounting problem, you got to look at all the information and decide what you really need to answer the question. Let's just focus on straight line depreciation first here. So when I read this problem, I notice the information I have. Just divide it up piece by piece. I've got something purchased. It's an asset that was purchased on this date. Here's the cost. They give it directly to me. Here's the life. It's 10 years. They give it to me, and they give me a residual value, also known as a salvage value, okay? Truck is expected to drive this many miles over its entire life. Uh, I think I'll need that in part B, but not in part A. So let's just see what part A looks like. Okay, my straight line depreciation expense is going to be real simple like this. Okay, if I can write properly on here. Okay, it's going to be equal to the cost minus salvage value or residual value divided by the life of the asset in years. Pretty simple, really. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the cost, which I believe is 108,000, right, or 118,000. I'll just do this in thousands, minus $10,000, divided by the life in 10 years. So that's pretty straightforward, really. So if I just take um, 108, which is the top of that fraction there, 108 divided by 10, $108,000 divided by 10 years, I'm simply going to get uh, this is in thousands, remember. So I'm going to get $10,800 per year of depreciation. Now, if I wanted this per um, month, I'd divide that by 12. But I think that's all we want is it says find the depreciation for 2004. So the answer simply is 10800 as we figured out right down here. 10800 If you look on your worksheet, you'll find 10800 was exactly one of the answers in your answer field. Okay, so that's how you do part A.